I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. We're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to our latest message. This one is called The Value of Mothers. And we don't very often do like holiday messages. Right. But we're making an exception today. <laughs> well, this just happens to fall on Mother's Day, this video. Right. So we're going to, you know, just encourage, we want to encourage moms today. Mm -hmm. So for all you moms out there, this is for you. <laughs> And we want to take a few minutes today to recognize moms and mm. the value of what mothers do mm -hmm. and to make sure you know that you are appreciated, that your hard work is recognized. Mm. And, you know, without having a mother who recognizes the importance mm -hmm. of her function in the home, her function as a mom, mm. you know, the, the world would be a really messy place. Yes, it would. <laughs> because, and you know, we're not saying that it has, it has anything to do with like mothers doing the cleaning and it'd right. be a messy place. We're saying that because without the leadership in the home and the steadfastness mm. of a good mother, mm -hmm. things would be messy. Yeah. And, you know, it, as, as moms, and I can't speak to this because I'm not a mom, right. um, but you know, <laughs> she was a mom and I had a mom and my mom had a mom, so I got to see moms functioning mm -hmm. and working in the home in the way moms were intended to work. Mm -hmm. And as I, you know, if I look back and I see over the years and over the decades, and that makes me sound really old. <laughs> Because we're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if I look back over the years, I can I can see the the value of good mothers mm. and what they mean to their children. Mm. And you know, the, the Bible doesn't talk much about mothers per se, but the Bible talks a lot about godly women mm. and virtuous women. And so it's important that we recognize that, mm -hmm. that we as men and we as people in general recognize the value of a good mom, but that moms also recognize their own value, their own worth in the home. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, the far reaching results or mm -hmm. effects, I guess is mm -hmm. a better word, effects of their, uh, their influence in the home. Mm -hmm. Because moms have a massive influence in the house. Yeah, they and, do. And, you know, not just in, the, again, not in the house, but in the family unit. Right. Mm -hmm. Their influence trickles down onto their children mm -hmm. in ways that, that they'll never fully, never fully see or fully right. know. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we, we live for a season, we're gone, and then our mm -hmm. children carry on. Mm -hmm. But everything that the mom imparts into the children mm -hmm. continues to live on even after the the mom has gone on right and you know i remember just different things about my mom and my mom died young i was only in my early 20s when my mom died at the age of 46 mm -hmm. but my mom was there long enough so mm -hmm. that i had grown up in the home and left and we had gotten married mm -hmm. and i i still remember you know way back to when i was Barely old enough to remember anything, but I have memories back into my like, you know, three to four year old age bracket where mm -hmm. I still remember the things that my mom did. Yes. And so that's a kind of a testament to how important it is and how far reaching mm -hmm. the effects of or the impartations of a good mother right. can be. How what it le what it leaves in yes. a child, you know. Yeah. I, I think of growing up and, and my mom in the home and she she kept everything, you know, in order. Yeah, kept it going. Kept it going. Yeah. And then, you know, dad was there doing his thing too. Doing and and thing. what's that? Doing, doing the his dad, dad thing. thing. <laughs> but my mom, you know, we're talking about moms today and it, it just, you know, she always... She had everything in order mm -hmm. and kept it in order. Mm -hmm. And if something went out of order, she would bring it back into order. Mm -hmm. And, but... It would bring that comf that feeling of comfort and stability, mm -hmm. knowing yeah. that mom would get it back into water if something right. was wrong or yeah. it would end up, you know. And so, 
you know, as a child, you don't know how they do it. You just right. learn as you go and you mm -hmm. watch them and you watch what they do. Yep. And then you, as you get older, you, you, you remember those things. Well, yeah. mom would do this, you yeah, know, or right. mom would do that. Or, right. and, and some of the things, you know, you, you change up as you get older, but some, for the most part, you learn those things that your mom did, right. those things that brought a good result mm -hmm. in your life and made you feel comfortable and you take those with you and right. you bring them into your family right. and so you know moms do a lot you know they do a lot of things that a lot of times don't really get noticed yeah. you know they're just a mom thing that's right. what mom does <laughs> and you know that that brings up a good point because as moms do things that may not necessarily always get noticed mm. They're just doing what moms are supposed to right. do, mm -hmm. you know, and we're talking about moms and dads have the same things, but mm -hmm. in a different way. Yes. But moms, you know, when, when they're doing the things that they do, they're not looking for recognition. Right. And that's good because mm -hmm. that's humility and right. that's how we should all be. We should all be humble mm -hmm. and walk out the things that God has given us to do, yes. even in raising our children. Mm -hmm. But it's good every once in a while that... Moms do get recognized yes. and they do get thanked mm -hmm. and that they understand their worth and their value, right. not just in the family, but in the kingdom of God. Right. That's you know? right. So. I was just thinking about if you were to ask a mom today, mm -hmm. like if we were to ask you, you know, what, are, what do you do? What does a mom do? Mm -hmm. And a lot of moms would just say practically everything, you yeah. know, <laughs> they, they wouldn't, right. they wouldn't. Break it down because moms just do what moms are supposed to do. Right. Those things in us mm -hmm. as a mom, you know, to take care of our children. Right. It's just in us to do that thing that is going to bring comfort. And, mm -hmm. and, and I don't know what else, but I'm thinking of comfort to our yeah. child. Yep. We do those things. And, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's a lot of things that is all wrapped oh, yeah. up, but you do it because you love them mm -hmm. and it's in you and mm -hmm. you don't even think about it. Right. You just exactly. do it. And yeah. that's just how it is, you mm -hmm. know, and when your child hurts, you hurt. When your child's happy, you're happy. You know, mm -hmm. it's just those, it's just that relationship that right. a mom has with that child that I believe it's a, it's God given yeah, absolutely. and you just do it mm -hmm. and you do it to the best of your ability. And mm -hmm. then your child grows up to do similar things those right. things that were good and those right. things that were right mm -hmm. and um it's yeah you you know i mean i'm just sitting here now and if you were to ask me what does a mom do i would say a mom does whatever she needs to do right. to make that child and help that child to grow and be happy and right. to nurture them that's I, what a mom does yeah <laughs> and, and to keep the household going and to keep the family moving and so many things. Yes. You know, it's it's a very it's large, all-encompassing job, I guess, if you want to call it that. And, but. and I think most women will, you know, say that they're very happy and mm -hmm. it's an honor to be a mother. Right. You know, because you do have those specific things that moms mm -hmm. do. And then you have those things that dads do, right. you know. But um, mom's job is, I mean, I have, I have always loved being a mom. Mm -hmm. I still love being a mom and I still love being a grandmother too, right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's similar, you right. know, the grand, the grandmother and the mom is, it's similar things, yep. um, with the child and exactly. it's, it's just a beautiful thing. But, you know, to encourage moms today, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing an awesome job and, you know, sometimes you may get tired and you may feel right. like, oh, you may <laughs> okay. get tired and you may feel like you, you failed at times. Yeah. But you know, you just you just keep going. You mm -hmm. keep trying, and you keep doing what you know God has given you that mm -hmm. gift to to nurture and to mm -hmm. help that child. And you know, us coming here today, we we just wanted to say thank you for yeah. being a mother. Thank you for yes. being that mom mm -hmm. that you are in your home and and with your children. And um, you know, be encouraged today. You're yeah. doing an awesome job. And, mm -hmm. you know, just keep keep going. Don't give up. Keep right. going. Keep pushing through yeah. and and um, keep working and uh, working with that child and keep doing what you're doing because you're making a difference in mm -hmm. their lives and you're bringing that comfortable um, 
nurturing nurturing feeling into mm-hmm. that child yes. and that will that seed that you're planting will grow mm-hmm. in their family and it'll just continue so you're doing a great job and don't give up don't ever give up don't give yeah. up yeah. keep going keep yeah. pushing through and even right. like i said when it gets hard you mm-hmm. you just you keep going you keep pushing through and right. and god will give you the strength to, right. to to keep going as well amen 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 and always 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 lean on god yes can't go wrong. We put God first and lean on Him. We can't go wrong. That's right. If we don't have the answers, we don't have the answers, but He does, so we can get them from Him. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. Let's wrap this up and pray. Yes. Father God, we thank You for thank you. the mothers. Yes. We thank You, God, that You created us as man and woman to be a father and a mother. And we thank You today for the mothers. We yes. thank You for their strength, for their nurturing, for their caring. For their hard work. We thank you, God, for those things that we may not even see that mothers do, but yet you know. Yes, you do. You see and you know. Yes, so we ask you, God, to bless the mothers today, yes, to strengthen them, yes. to encourage them, to lift them up, God. Yes. And Father God, help the moms to always put you first in their hearts even though their days are busy and their time is taken up with so many different things let them always put you first and draw their strength from you in everything that they do that they would be a godly example for the rest of the family for the children that they are raising and nurturing yes And we just pray today in the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So thank you, moms. Yes. Keep up the great work and know that you are appreciated. Yes, you are. And remember, lean on God and put him first in everything. Yes. And we love you guys. We love you. Thank you for watching. Yes. And on that note, we'd like to ask you to like it, (laughs) share it, comment on it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And we would greatly appreciate that as well. Yes. You guys have a great rest of your day. Yes. And until next time, you stay close to God. And we will talk again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.